Uh, can I get a bigger size? I don't think these will fit me. They'll definitely fit Brooklyn, though. Um... I hope it's the right way, guys. <laughs> I'm trying to show you what the sign was that we had. This was an LED light. And um, something happened to it. The cord got cut, unfortunately. But these are the beautiful wings that my daughter got on her birthday, 1-19-2022. It was absolutely freezing outside. Ice chips were coming down. And I got into the car to start up the ignition, looking in the rearview mirror instinctually. I saw a man out there. My daughter was putting garbage into the dumpster. And so I jumped out of the car and immediately, poof, he was gone. Brooklyn said, he said, you have a, you have a pair of angel, angel wings on your trunk. And uh, she went to look, turn, and when she turned back, he was gone. So she, boy, oh boy, I love these things more than she does, I think. <laughs> so how are you guys? I'm going to read, I told you guys that I would um, share, this is something that the Lord really wants, I'm going to have to back this up a little bit, usually it's on the other side, but that's okay, no problem, no problem, I'm used to looking at it, let me see, let me turn it around without cutting it off, there, that's better for me, okay? I'm going to be reading starting from chapter 14. I'm not going to interrupt. I'm going to get through it because uh, there's like a hundred and something chapters to the book of Enoch. And it's really important. The Lord wants everybody out there to hear this. Okay. So here we go. Ready? Chapter 14. This is the book of the words of righteousness. And of the reprimand of the eternal watchers in accordance with the command of the Holy Great One. In that vision I saw in my sleep. What I will now say with a tongue of flesh and with the breath of my mouth. Which the Great One has given to men to speak with it and to understand with the heart. As he has created and given to man the power of understanding, the word of wisdom so he has he created me also and given me the power of reprimanding the watchers, the children of heaven. I wrote out your petition, and in my vision it appeared that your petition will not be granted to you throughout all the days of eternity, and that judgment has finally and been finally passed on you. Your petition will not be granted. From here on you shall not ascend into heaven again for all eternity." and you will be bound on earth for all eternity. Before this, you will see the destruction of your beloved sons, and you shall have no pleasure in them, but they shall fall before you by the sword. Your petition shall not be granted on their behalf or on yours. Even though you weep and pray and speak all the words contained in my writings. In the vision I saw the clouds, I saw clouds that invited me, and summoned me into a mist and the course of the stars and the flashes of lightning and hurried me and drove me and the winds and the vision caused me to fly and lifted me up and bore me into heaven and I went in until I draw ne drew near to a wall which was built out of crystals and surrounded by tongues of fire and it began to frighten me I went into the tongues of fire and drew near a large house, which was built of crystals, and the walls of the house were like a mosaic of hailstones, and the floor was made of crystals like snow. And pausing and reflecting on Revelation 4, 6, it makes me think of, and before the throne, there was a sea of glass like unto crystal, and in the midst of the throne, and round about the throne, were four beasts full of eyes before and behind. And then Revelation 21, 10 through 12, and he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain 
and showed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from God. That's that makes me think of, you know. And it had the it has the glory of God, the city. And it's precious, and it talks about the crystal sea and how we all are up there watching. Goodness sakes. And it says, it talks about the glory of God and her light was like unto a stone most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal, and had a wall great and high and had 12 gates, and at the gates 12 angels, and names written thereon, which are the names of the 12 tribes of Israel. Father God, I forgot to pray before I did this. I wanted to just pray that you would surround the building in our community and the entire region. The Double Tree Hotel right there, I can see it from my window. I pray against all nefarious and demonic activity that takes place at that hotel and everything down here on the battleground. But I also would like to pray uh, that you would loosen and hasten down holy angels from the kingdom of heaven, Psalm 91 angels down into our first and second heavens to rebuke the demonic entities and their nefarious activities, spraying us with chemicals and other things. I will not even, I will not speak what they're spraying. You would, you would be in shock. I just can't do it, guys. I won't say it. But the chemicals part is enough. It's absolutely enough. So... And I also wanted to pray that you would glorify the atmosphere because your glory is just. I would ask that the Holy Spirit be with me. He's always with me. And he told me that he was before I did this. He's always with me before I do this. So, but please, Father God, would you saturate the atmosphere with your glory? And with your son Jesus' glory. Through the Holy Spirit, amen. Thank you. And to lift every precious child, every precious soul that's out there right now, that's having hard times. All the people on this channel that come here and watch and listen, mainly to listen, because it's all about your word. It's about your word, Father God. Yes, we live in a very supernatural place. And I pray that everybody's eyes be opened completely and that they're able to take in their surroundings and be aware and see the things that are right in front of us all that are very, very, very much telling. So, amen. I just had to do that. I forgot to pray. Sorry. Okay. Um, so I'm going to start at verse 11 on chapter 14. Its ceiling was like the path of the stars in lightning flashes, and between them were fiery cherubim. That their sky was clear as water. A flaming fire surrounded the walls. Oh, and I forgot to also pray against any demonic, satanic angels of light or any other kind of nefarious, uh, unclean spirit. You are rebuked in the name of Jesus Christ. You are not allowed near this broadcast or inside my home. I always do this, guys. I always do it. So I just had to do it, okay? Because, I mean, it just is confusing. The devil is, like, extremely smart, okay? And he's in the details of everything. So I test everything. And I know you may think I'm nuts, but if Jesus were to show up and he appeared to be Jesus... I would probably rebuke him because I have been through so much spiritual warfare that I would have to do that. And he would probably just laugh at me, you guys, big time. Okay, I know he would, but that's that's how serious the spiritual warfare is. I want you guys to realize how important it is. Okay, do not trust anybody. No man. God is a respecter of no man. Okay, so back to this. And the ceiling was like the path of the stars and lightning flashes, and between them were fiery cherubim. 
Their sky was clear as water. A flaming fire surrounded the walls and its doors blazed with fire. I entered that house and it was hot as fire and cold as ice. There were no pleasures of life therein. Fear covered me and trembling got hold of me. As I shook and trembled, I fell on my face and I saw a vision and lo, there was a second house greater than the first and all the doors stood open before me and it was built of flames of fire and in every respect it was splendid and magnificent to the extent that I cannot describe to you. I can't even describe it to you. Its floor was of fire and above it was lightning and the path of the stars and its ceiling also was flaming fire. And I looked and saw a throne set on high. Its appearance was like crystal and its wheels were like a shining sun. And there was the vision of the tribium. And from underneath the throne came rivers of fire so that I could not look at it. And he who is great and glory sat on the throne and his raiment shone more brightly than the sun and was whiter than any snow. None of the angels could enter or could behold his face because of the magnificence and glory and no flesh could behold him. The sea of fire surrounded him and a great fire stood in front of him and no one could draw close to him. 10,000 times 10,000 stood before him, but he needed no holy counsel. The most holy ones who were near to him did not leave night or day. And until then, I had been prostrate on my face, trembling. And the Lord called me with his, his own mouth and said to me, Come here, Enoch, and hear my word. And one of the holy ones came to me, picked me up, and brought me to the door. And I bowed down my face. And he answered and he said to me, and I heard his voice, Do not be afraid, Enoch, you righteous man and scribe of righteousness. Approach and hear my voice. Go and say to the watchers of heaven, for whom you have come to intercede. You should intercede for men and not men for you. Why and for what cause have you left the high holy and eternal heaven and had sex with women and defiled yourselves with the daughters of men and taken to yourselves wives and done like the children of earth and begotten giants. Sons, your sons, though you were holy, spiritual, living the eternal life, you have defiled yourselves with the blood of women and have begotten children with the flesh, with the blood of flesh, and as the children of men, you have lusted after flesh and blood, like those who die and are killed. This is why I've given men wives, that they might impregnate them and have children by them, that deeds might continue on earth. But if you were formally spiritual, living the eternal life, and immortal for all generations of the world. Therefore, I have not appointed wives for you. You are spiritual beings of heaven, and in heaven was your dwelling place. Hey. Hi, babe. I'm right in the middle of a video. I'll be right with you. you to check out new books? Okay. Now, Luke 20, verses 34 through 36 says, And Jesus answering said unto them, the children of this world marry and are given in marriage, but they which shall be accounted worthy to obtain that world and the resurrection from the dead, neither marry nor are given in marriage, neither can they die any more, for they are equal unto the angels and are the children of God being the children of the resurrection. Yes. And now the giants who are produced from the spirits and flesh shall be called evil spirits on the earth and shall live on the earth. Evil spirits have come out from their bodies, you see, because they are born from men and uh, also the holy watchers. And from the holy watchers, their beginning is of primal origin.
They shall be evil spirits on the earth. The evil spirits shall they be called, spirits of the evil ones. As for the spirits of heaven, in heaven shall be their dwelling. But as for the spirits of the earth, which were born on the earth, on the earth shall be their dwelling. And the spirits of the giants afflict, oppress, destroy, attack, war, destroy, and cause trouble on the earth. We're right in the middle, you guys. We're right in the middle of the battlefield where it all takes place. Do you realize that? Once your eyes are open, <laughs> holy smokes, man. All I can think of to say is, Ali Ali Oxen Free, praise God, praise God, praise Jesus that he came and did all this for us. And I question history to the fullest now extent because I believe that this cycle that they're doing this whole thing and with our currency at all shows us that this has been done before in the past. And what does it say in the Bible? Nothing new under the sun, right? So imagine for thousands of years now, the way that Satan sets up his kingdom and then they just destroy it, order out of chaos, rebuild, right? Exactly. It takes, I don't even know what the cycle is. Only God knows, but they, he knows. And it seems that there's just too much that people just know ahead of time. How can they know this stuff? From artificial intelligence, the demons themselves, exactly. CERN, connecting. It's just like that movie Stargate. Watch the movie Stargate, the original movie with James Spader, I think his name is. That's a really good way of showing what CERN is trying to do, okay? Anyways, okay, so they take no food. Um, they really don't, uh, they don't hunger or thirst, but they cause offenses and basically they're not observed. Okay. I've seen some things that just make my mind just go, what? Cause like nobody else sees it and I see it and it's like some invisible thing, moving things around, doing things. And I'm talking about like out in restaurants, coffee shops, a guy wiped out on his bike. The bike got picked up and got thrown down the other day. And he didn't, he was on the sidewalk. He didn't even run off the sidewalk or anything. The bike picked up on its own. You guys, that's why I'm saying the spiritual warfare is off the chain right now. It's, it's crazy scary, but not if you have Jesus. And these spirits shall rise up against the children of men and against the women because they have proceeded from them in the days of the slaughter and destruction. Talking about the, the flood. Chapter 16. And at the death of the giants, spirits will go out and shall destroy without incurring judgment. Coming from their bodies, their flesh shall be destroyed until the day of consummation and great judgment in which the age shall be consummated over the watchers and the godless, and shall be wholly consummated. I cannot wait. Thank you, Jesus. Please bring it, Father Abba. Please send it. It's time. Before I start crying, let me read. Okay, so Matthew eight twenty eight, And when he was come to the other side, into the country of uh, Gurgis, Gergesians, there met him two possessed with devils coming out of the tombs exceeding fierce so that no man might pass by that way and behold they cried out saying what have we to do with thee Jesus thou son of God are thou come hither to torment us before the time so even the demons they shake and tremble they're afraid to death of Jesus so, and now as to the watchers who have sent you to intercede for them who had been in heaven before, say to them, you were in heaven, but all the mysteries of heaven had not been revealed to you. No, they weren't. And you knew worthless ones. And these in the hardness of your hearts, you have made known to the women. And through these mysteries, women and men work much evil on the earth. So, to them, therefore, you have no peace. Chapter 17. And they took me to a place in which those who were 
there were like flaming fire. And when they wished, they made themselves appear as men. They brought me to the place of darkness and to a mountain, the point of whose summit reached to heaven. And I saw lighted places and, tre and the treasuries of the stars and of the thunder and in the uttermost depths where were a fiery bow and arrows and their quivery quiver and a fiery sword and all the lightning. And they took me to the waters of life and to the fire of the west, which receives every setting of the sun. And I came to a river of fire in which the fire flows like water into the great sea toward the west. I saw the great rivers and came to the great darkness and went to the place where no flesh walks. Sounding scary now. I don't know why I get scared when I read this part of the book. I saw the mouths of all the rivers of the earth and the mouth of the deep. It's like the Lord of the Rings, like Mordor. It's scary, guys. I saw the storehouse of all the winds. I saw how he had adorned the whole creation with them and the firm foundations of the earth. And I saw the cornerstone of the earth. I saw the four winds which support the earth and the firmament of the heaven. I saw how the winds stretch out the height of heaven and have their station between heaven and earth. These are the pillars of heaven. And they're also called stations. I saw the winds of heaven which churn and bring the sky and the sun and all the stars to their setting places. I saw the winds on the earth carrying the clouds. I saw the paths of the angels. I saw at the end of the earth the firmament of heaven above. And I continued south and saw a place which burns day and night where there are seven mountains of magnificent stones, three towards the east and three towards the south. And as for those towards the east, they were of colored stone, and one, one of pearl and one of jacinth, a stone of healing, and those towards the south of red stone. But the middle one reached to heaven like the throne of God, and was made of alabaster, and the summit of the throne was a sapphire. So beautiful. And I saw a great abyss of the earth, which with pillars of heavenly fire, and I saw among them fiery pillars of heaven, which were falling. Okay, so before I go on into this really scary part of like three different basically types of hell that are absolutely spooky and scary to me, um, I don't really like to read it. I might cut it off because I don't want to read that. I'll do it on my next study. But what I wanted to tell you real quick about is Inside your ears, you guys, and you'll never, ever get a school or a college or Ivy League school teaching you that this is the truth. Inside your ears, you have a little, and it's also your pineal gland. You, They're little miniaturized crystals, guys. And guess what they're made of? They're made out of calcium carbonate. Calcium carbonate is what is a pearl. That's what pearls are made of. And so that's how you communicate and you can hear from God is through these little miniaturized crystals inside your ear. Look it up. Look calcium carbonate inside your ear. Look it up. It's, it's on the internet. You can find it. They just don't broadcast it. You have to search for this stuff, just like the crimson worm. I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do a little thing about that because you guys really need to know. Is there anybody out there that's ever heard of the crimson worm? Uh, the scarlet Middle Eastern crimson worm that's located only in the Middle East. You can only find it there. Have, have any of you heard of that? There is an absolutely beautiful story behind it, and I'd love to share it with you. Um, let me know. Give me a yes, you've heard of them. And you